Hey family, and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So yesterday I discussed what emotional adultery is and I told you that it will be turned into a series. Today is the second video in that series. So just to recap, yesterday I gave you the definition of what emotional adultery could be and I also gave you four reasons why um, it hurts your relationship. So definitely I will link that video down below in the description box and of course at some point it will be floating up here after this video you go ahead and check this out and then continue to come back hit that red subscribe button because there will definitely be more videos in this series now depending on when you're watching this video if all of the videos have been released there will be a playlist at some point added to the videos as well so definitely stick around and check out the playlist check out all of those to see if you're actually committing emotional adultery or if there are some signs that you are noticing with your spouse, your partner, it may be they're actually the ones who's committing emotional adultery. So let's go ahead and jump into this video right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back after that. Okay, so, um, Today I'm going to give you the eight signs that maybe you are the person who is committing emotional adultery. Maybe you don't even have any idea that you are doing these things. So I'm trying to bring the awareness and the information to the forefront of your brain. So if you are committing these eight things, then you will stop because emotional adultery is just as bad as having the physical cheating adultery, okay? And actually, it, and then I, when, I, when I will say is that this is considered to be cheating, but when we hear the word cheating, we think of the sexual act. We don't necessarily think of the emotional part. But ladies and gentlemen, we have to understand that before a person goes out and actually commits the physical act, the emotional attachment with the other person is usually there. All right, so the first sign that you could be committing emotional adultery with a friend, right? Because that's what we call them. We call them friends of the opposite sex is that you are finding yourself wanting to dress up for them. You know that you're going to be around this person. You're going to hang out, maybe go for a drink, maybe just go and just talk, walk around, just hang out. But you find yourself wanting to get dressed up very pretty as if they were your spouse or the things that you would do for your spouse, you are now doing for this friend. The second thing to think about that maybe you are committing emotional adultery is that whenever your spouse asks you about this friend and about you guys' relationship, he's, he or she is feeling like you guys are a little too tight and um, you don't wanna break the bond. So anytime your spouse, your partner asks you about this friend, you get a little bit defensive or why do I need to do this? It's just my friend. And if there's other things that's underlying that your spouse or your partner can see, some just ain't right right here. They can't necessarily put their finger on it and they don't have any real evidence to say that you are actually cheating with this person. But there is something underlying that your spouse feels in their gut. Some ain't right. And you are being very defensive as to why your spouse wants to know how long you guys been on the phone, why, you know, you're being very secretive about this person. There are little things that starting to occur with this person in your life. The third way that you can think about you are committing emotional adultery with your friend is that you are finding more and more ways to hang out with this person creating ways to hang out with this person you're making <laughs> up stories to say hey let's go meet here let's go get drinks here let's go do this let's go to the concert let's do whatever let's find ways to talk on, to, on the phone so we can get our meeting together on us meeting outside of the household with us together so you're creating multiple ways to spend more and more and more the fourth way to think about if you are committing emotional adultery with your friend is that you feel guilty if your spouse knew that you were talking to this friend or, as I mentioned before, you are now having lengthy conversations with your friend and you don't want your spouse to know about it. 
because you have to think about this. If the conversation was really innocent and you are being really innocent, there's nothing going on, then what is the problem with your spouse knowing that you're on the phone with your friend? It doesn't matter the length of time that you're on the phone with your friend, especially if you guys are seeing each other every once in a while, right? So then the length of time that you spend talking to this person, you probably need to talk to them longer because you guys have not caught up. But if this is a friend that you are finding ways to spend time with, and then you have to be on the phone with them two and three hours, even when your spouse is there, there's something wrong with that. There's something wrong with that because your connection is now being bonded with somebody outside of your relationship. Another way, which is number five, to understand that you are committing emotional adultery is that you are now starting to or have been sharing a lot of your dissatisfaction with your spouse, with your friend. So everything that goes wrong in your relationship, you are sharing all of this stuff. You're like dumping it all on your friend and your friend might be dumping some of their relationship stuff on you as well. So now again, you guys are connecting even further. These six ways to think about if you are being an emotional adulterer is you are being a little bit too flirtatious with this friend. I mean, finding any way to <laughs> touch them. Anyway, you're laughing at all their corny jokes. <laughs> Right? You're finding any way to tell them how fine they are, how beautiful they are, how sexy they look in those jeans. You're, being, you, you're crossing the line. You're crossing the line. Being a bit too flirtatious. Which actually brings me to point number seven. You are not enforcing the boundaries between you and your friend. So that whole little... <laughs> flirtatious touch you're not flinching no more you're actually welcoming it the boundaries are now being crossed you know it your friend knows it it's just a matter of time y'all inching toward the physical inching 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 it's not going to be something that's going to happen overnight for the most part but inching you know what okay i did that i did okay i'm a i'm a, I'm a, I'm a maybe i'm gonna touch her on the butt this time see what she do just inching, just testing the waters. The eighth thing to consider as far as you committing emotional adultery is now you feel in your heart of hearts that your friend understands you much better than your spouse does. So family, what did you think about these eight things to just think about, especially if you are the one who's being put in this situation? Maybe you need to take a step back from said friend. Figure out if this is actually a true friendship or if you know deep down in your heart that you could possibly want more with this friend. These are just some things to think about. In my next video, I will address how to overcome if you are committing emotional adultery. I'll address that one next. So I will see you in the next video. Of course, give me thumbs up. Share it with the person that you know who needs to hear this message the most. And if this is your very first time here to I Love Me Me Me, think about subscribing because here at I Love Me Me Me, I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships so we can get rid of these outsiders and decrease that divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. I love you guys. There's nothing that you can do about it.